guys. So today we were heading off to Team Alive Planet. And while we're going here, we stumbled upon a pretty nice view of these cherry blossoms. It's pretty much a whole, like, four full trees of really nice sleeping cherry blossoms. And as we were taking pictures, suddenly more people started popping up. But we've, I've actually just experienced this morning <laughs> my worst nightmare is that I had zero battery on my camera. And I charged it last night. Turns out I didn't charge it, so I have I quickly char tried to charge it early in the morning for one hour. So now I have about 50% on two batteries. Let's see how long that gets me throughout the day. Um, see you then. I think this is what we're actually waiting for, which is the floating garden. There should be like a lot of flowers on top. We're out of Team Labs. Pretty cool experience. We just got some snacks before we head out to our other location. But Team Labs is really cool. Although, people came there for the, the water experience where you're supposed to go like knee deep and we were saying like how some kids are not going to get out of there alive <laughs> but it wasn't actually that cool because it's like really dark I think for an experience, not for pictures there's some places that would be like the flower garden at the end and there's like stuff at the end and the mirror light room in the beginning it was really cool stuff if you want to go but I suggest you to go early because it gets kind of crazy like the earliest time possible amazing weather and yesterday it was like a lot colder it was like 40 degrees 50 degrees at most a point in the day I was only shot up to 70 today amazing weather great day to take a show in Tokyo you find cherry blossoms in unexpected parks. Harajuku is known as Tokyo's fashion. In this neighborhood, you'll see all sorts of interesting and out of the ordinary fashion. find clothing stores in Harajuku, but also interesting stores yes, like this auto no Fortunately, no photos allowed. While exploring, we stumbled upon this pet store, the cutest puppies and kids. I see. Exploring Harajuku, really cool place for fashion. And now we're in Shinjuku, finding some place. I, we're trying to find Memory Lane, and I think we just made it. It's a really tiny alleyway right here. This 
place is a lot cooler at night. I just, it's gonna glow and there's a lot of people right now. So I think a lot of people come during a lot of after hours and all the shops are closed. It's really smoky out here. But a lot of shops here are small eats, but really good. camera and I wasn't able to buy anything that I wanted because it was sold out fortunately but we did find the Yamazaki which we absolutely adore instead of 7-eleven or news daily because <laughs> the food was just better the convenience store food was better. I guess we become convenience store food nerds now but we were trying to look for melon buns because I've been paving them a lot since coming here they're so good. Am to go get some food? We just got back to our hotel after doing some last minute shopping. Unfortunately today is our last day in Japan and tomorrow we'll be flying out to Hong Kong for another week until we get back to the United States. Japanese people carry the cameras around a lot and it doesn't matter what brand it could be Sony, Fujifilm, or even a pancake camera that you've never seen before or it could be really old uh, digital camera and everyone seems to be taking a picture whether they're a tourist or an actual Japanese person and I think they know how beautiful their country is. Japanese culture and society has a lot of great contrast that can put a subject out there really easily. So like a lot of Japanese people when they're working or their student are in uniform so a lot of men and women will be wearing black suits just for work and students will be wearing their uniform. So the moment you see another person just casually walking out in a regular outfit, then it just instantly pops out. And that can be said in the opposite way as a lot of Japanese people like to stay in clicks and clicks happen to be very uh, photogenic in its own way. I really appreciate the aesthetic that Japan has overall. I know I had a great time just being here and learning. It's been a pretty exhausting trip but I, hopefully I'll be making more of these videos. And if you do like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys in the next one.